Hi, how are you? I hope you're well and keeping safe during this time. I'm back here in my studio with the painting that I've been working on for a few days now. It's the renovation painting which was a seascape and is now a landscape stroke still life. And you can probably see if you've been following that I've done a bit of work since I last uh, talked to you. So we've got, oh, let's see if I can get this into a better viewing position for you. There we go. Okay. So I've done a bit more work on the flowers and the leaves. I've put a little bit more depth, a bit more contrast into some of those flowers. I've actually chucked, this is a paper bird. He's not real, um, but I just wanted to see what it would look like. I quite often use a template and just stick it in there and see if that's going to work. That's a butcher bird. That, there are a lot of them in our garden, so I thought I'll pop a butcher bird in. Uh, I've done a little bit of work with chalk um, just to draw in some elements. Uh, on this silver teapot, which is this teapot, belong to my mother, I've shown it to you before, um, I've drawn in some of the patterned elements because I think that'll be nice, and some leaves which I'm going to paint today. And I had some nice messages from you who've been watching. Thank you very much for that, appreciate it. Okay, let's get on with it. I've got some colours on my palette as usual. I've got the quinacridone azo nickel gold, um, which I really like. Cadmium yellow medium. Uh, chromium green oxide. Prussian blue, which is a real go-to for me. Payne's grey. Titanium white. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna gonna start with putting in some more leaves because I think I think this section here needs a bit of green. So let's just chuck in some leaves. Just you know, quick. Doesn't need to be anything special. I can I can. I can fix them up later. I rather like kind of lively strokes anyway. Gives the painting a bit of movement. There we are, some leaves, maybe, maybe another bit of green there. Right, that'll probably do just for that little bit. Now, I had the idea, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but let's have a play. I had the idea of putting a bit of a vine around the teapot spout. So let's just play. I don't know if it's, I really don't know if it's going to work, but you know, let's give it a try. Okay, that's, a, that's not too bad. Um, some of these leaves are going to need a bit more work on them um, because they're not 
They're not very well defined at this point in time. They need a bit more light in them. Ah, uh, you know, I had a comment from somebody. Do you remember in the earlier, I think it was in the first video I did of this painting, I, there, was a sea, sea, there was a sea still visible in that Chinese pot and somebody sent me a message saying they really liked it and to leave it and unfortunately I've already painted over it. But at another time I might do a pot with a sea on it. Okay, now let's play with the patterning on the pot because I think that's going to be a really nice element. So I'm just going to put a bit of white and a bit of Payne's Grey. And so it's not going to be terribly obvious to start with. And I'll just have to do a bit of playing with it over time. Again, very loose, very free strokes. I'd say that this was an Edwardian, probably an Edwardian teapot. I think it might have belonged to my maternal, my paternal grandmother. Apparently she used to like going to um, auctions in London and she bought quite a lot of antiques. We're starting to get a bit of patterning happening there. Need to have a look, see what the pattern's like. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. So it comes out there. And there's another bit on that side. And then there's a matching pattern in this panel to the one in that panel. You can't really see this one because it goes behind this leaf. But you know, one of the things in painting and drawing and art, you don't have to put everything in. You know, people get very worried about leaving out detail, but you don't have to because if you have some lines there and you have some elements there, your brain, it's pretty smart, it'll fill up those gaps. There we are, starting to get quite a nice bit of patterning there. Now, there's a couple of other things that I need to just do with my, oh, I need to clean that better. So I'm just going to put some Prussian blue on here and just do a bit of a line there. Give this the appearance of a bit of a shadow. It'll have to find its way up there somehow. Yeah, I can, I'll can. i fix that later if I haven't got it quite right. Um, and some of these, these leaves need to be outlined a bit. Give them a bit more substance. In fact, the leaf, these leaves need quite a lot of working on. I can't, 
this is one of the things that I really enjoy doing. It's the finessing part of it. You know, you get the paint on and then you can come back. See, now really, I need a bit of light in there. Let's see if we can get a bit more light into that part. No, no, that's not quite right, is it? Let's just play with that a bit more. And then maybe a little bit of dark just there. to have a bit of the idea that there's a leaf turning here. Right, that might be enough for now. Um, I'll be doing some more work on it in between times and then I'll see you with the next video. Um, please join me again and thanks for your company and I do love your comments. Thanks a lot. <laughs>